Justin. <laughs> Justin. Dude, you look like you haven't been able to sleep in weeks. I haven't been able to sleep. I haven't been able to function at school. I haven't even beaten a single video game. You haven't beaten the new Arkham City? Beaten it? I haven't even played it yet. What's more important than Arkham City? Justin. All I've been able to think about is Justin. Justin? Okay. Yeah, he's been beaten up, stripped, left for dead, and I can't eat, I can't sleep. I can't even play video games, if you can believe that. Okay, this is serious. This whole not playing video games thing has to stop. Well, I won't play a single video game until those thugs that attack Justin are found and grounded into a bloody pulp. Whoa, okay, there's no pulp grinding today. And just saying they'd eat you for breakfast. And may maybe we should think about where Justin's at instead of the jerks that beat him up, you know? I mean, he was left in a pretty dark place. Yeah, after all, he was beaten and then left freezing, bloody, and dying. Yeah. Dude. You look like you could use a burger. Dude, you just pulled a burger from your pocket. Yeah, I always keep a spare burger in my pocket. You never know when you're going to want one. Whatever, just give me a sandwich. Are you feeling better? Mmm. Can I start my episode now? Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Have you ever been beaten up, bloody, left for dead? Have you ever wondered who your neighbor was? Or wondered if you should help someone in their time of need? Have you ever had your co-host leave you with an idiot? Well, if so, we've got a show for you. What are you trying to say about me? Nothing the audience doesn't already know. Either way, we rejoin Justin today as he's lying on the side hey, of the road. Is he going to get saved by Super Youth Pastor? You know, you can always count on him to swoop in and save hurting youth. What are you talking about? Or is it Super Christian? You know, always can count on a fellow Christian to come in and save the day. Not quite, but something like that. Oh, you're talking about this game. Don't give away the ending! As I was saying, Justin is lying on the side of the road dying when some people come across him. And that's where we'll start part two of the story. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just uh, give the chaperones flashlights and turn the lights off in the dance room because the uh, kids always seem to like it when the lights are off on the dance floor. So we can go with that and then the chaperones can just... Uh, what the? Hang on a second. Yeah, there's some half-naked kid lying here. He probably got drunk with his friends or something, but he's learning the perils of alcohol pretty quick. Why are kids so stupid these days? I just preached on the perils of alcohol. No, there's a perfect example of it. Man, you give a last week. Yeah, I got the Bible verse. Yeah, I always dominated Bible trivia. Hey, wait. Why is there some naked kid here on the road? Hey, kid, why are you lying here on the road getting into trouble? Eh. No, just some kid passed out on the side of the road. I think he might go to my school. Eh, uh, unless you're pretty stupid for lying on the side of the road like that. You okay, man? Uh, hey, are you okay? Can you give me, I have some power in my bag. Do you think you can drink some? Yeah. How did you end up half naked on the road? I got jumped by a gang of bullies. <laughs> You're freezing. Here, let me help you put this shirt on. <sighs> hey, do you think you can stand up? Yeah, I think so. Here, take a seat on my skateboard. Is there anywhere, anywhere I can take you? Yeah, my friend lives down the street, 3105. First, let's get some clothes in you. I don't think you want to be wandering around in your underwear. Yeah, this really sucks. I'm really embarrassed right now. Here, I have some of the pajamas in my bag. You're welcome to have them. Thanks. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along. Hey, don't worry about it. It's pretty dumb to be out here just in your underwear. Yeah, well, it wasn't my choice. Hey, let's get you to your friend's house.
crib, Jess. Not helping you. Apparently, he got beat up by a gang and got beat up pretty badly. Yeah, what's his mom's number? 555 7777. Hi, this is Thomas. Your son got jacked on his way home. Yes, ma'am. He is in pretty bad shape, but he's doing fine. I brought him to his friend's house. I found him half naked, bleeding on the side of the road. Yes, ma'am. They seem to take everything and his clothes. N no, ma'am. I'm giving some. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Your mom will be here shortly. If you need anything, just call me. Thanks. Hey, do you want anything? Yeah, I could use something. It's been a while since we had that pizza. You look really confused. Well, I am confused. All that youth pastor cared about was making a great event. He really didn't even care that Justin was there at all. He just walked right by him. Well, he obviously had something more important on his mind than Justin. What kind of youth pastor doesn't care about a kid? The kind that considers events and numbers more important than the actual kids. Well, what about that Christian kid? He knew him from school and he just passed right by him. What a jerk. He was more concerned with his appearance as a Christian than he was with Justin. If I ever meet him, then I'm gonna- Wait! Before you go pounding kids on the ground, why don't we think about the third Christian? Now, obviously, the first two Christian people didn't really help Justin. Well, I know what a pathetic group of Christians those first two were. Luckily, that skateboarder kid came in and helped him. Not only did he help Justin, but he took care of him, too. He was genuinely concerned with how Justin was feeling, like how he was hurt and frozen. He gave him clothes, and he helped him to act to his friend's house. He sounds like a great kid. I would say Justin is alive and well because of that kid. I'll say. Let's see what the Bible has to say about this. Let me just pull out my handy dandy digital Bible. It's found in Luke 10, verse 31 through 37. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite came down, and when he passed by the man, he went by the, on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where, to where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to the man and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. When he put the man on his own donkey, he brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three men do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, The one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. Hey, that sounds like Justin's story. He was saved by the third person, too. I don't think that's the point. Wait, there's the youth pastor, the church kid, and the skateboarder kid. And there's the priest, the Levite, and the Samaritan. Yep, three and three. It's not about the number, it's about who stopped. The important religious people didn't stop, but the most unlikely person did. The religious people were too busy, but the, in Justin's case, the kid stopped. Well, I guess it should be more like the kid when it comes to helping people. That's what scripture says. Jesus says, go and do likewise. Well, that's actually a pretty good idea. All I know is I'm not going to that youth pastor's event if he's going to blow kids off like that. Come on, let's go get a burger. Wait, can I finish the episode? Mm, yeah, I guess that's a good idea. Go ahead. You've got to be like the worst guest host ever. Hey, who are you? You're, you're Samantha from the, from the bridge. What's the bridge? The bridge? It's only like the greatest movie ever, and that's Samantha from the bridge. This is security. I need backup quick. Yeah, the bridge was really fun to work on, and it was pretty cool. Well, pull up a chair. We were just about to end the episode. All right, thank you.
Dude, that's Samantha from the bridge. I think we established that already. So how's post bridge life been? It's been pretty interesting. Uh, I've been going to college, studying really hard, but almost everywhere I go, the fans recognize me. I can't hold the back. Thank you.